All right, uh, it's time for the Bitcoin Cash Weekly News Roundup. Today is June 15th. We're here in Seoul, Korea with uh, Jean mm -hmm. and David. Two more Bitcoin Cash fans here in Korea that uh, spent the whole day with me promoting Bitcoin Cash uh, in Korea. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves real quick? Uh, so, Jin. Right. Hi, guys. I'm Jin. I work with Roger at Bitcoin.com, and I my part my role is business development in South Korea. And why do you like Bitcoin Cash? Because it's a digital currency that's actually usable. <laughs> Good answer. How about you? Hey, guys. David. I'm David. Nice to meet you. Uh, I recently helped Roger become an advisor to a project called Lotus, which is the first ever Korean ICO to have him as an advisor. And uh, it's great um, working with him for Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin.com. And why do you like Bitcoin Cash? Well, because it's the best, uh, best way to transfer money between people, between countries. And I think that um, <clears throat> more and more people will be Bitcoin friendly and more and more, more <coughs> Uh, companies will become more Bitcoin friendly. So thank you, man. I yeah, mean, the whole process. My pleasure. So we have a list of things to talk about because there's just so much happening in Bitcoin Cash every single week. One of the first ones is an app called Keyport Platform. Have you guys read about that? It lets you send encrypted messages embedded in the blockchain from one address to another. That's great. Um, which I think is really interesting. I don't know if all of those messages need to be encoded right there in the blockchain, but uh, right. it's pretty neat. Uh, maybe they can just encode the messages and send them to each other with the public keys of the different addresses mm -hmm. without embedding it into the app return of the addresses, but it's, it's still a pretty neat idea. It makes yeah, it definitely is development team going. So, And actually, the, the thing I wanted to talk about first is actually second on my list here, but. Uh, so Bitcoin.org is probably the website where a lot of people learn about Bitcoin for the first time ever. Um, this week they had a full revamp of that website. Okay. They removed every single mention of Coinbase. They, made, they removed every single mention of Blockchain at Info, and they removed wow. every single mention of BitPay. Those are probably the three businesses that have done more to bring more people in the entire world to using digital I mean, currencies. What would be left on the website if they remove all those? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good